I've been cast in a film. Um, it's a, a film called Tell the World. And um, I went for my wardrobe fitting the other day and I was asked by wardrobe to not shave until we shoot. This is a period piece. It takes place somewhere in the 1840s. Um, and they want everyone to have full bushy beards and everything. Um, they said they'd rather have more hair and then they would take some off if they had to as opposed to having no hair and having to put it on. So um, since it's been a long, long time since I've let my beard grow, um, I've decided to document this um, daily. So every day, um, starting tomorrow, uh, because I shaved today, I was working on a, uh, another project. Uh, starting tomorrow, I'm going to be taking a picture every day um, just to see what the growth looks like. Um, I'm interested in seeing, um, first of all, how long and bushy it's going to get. Uh, I could be shooting in a couple of weeks, I could be shooting in a month, or I could be shooting in two months. So that's, uh, that's a long time and uh, for me it's going to become very uncomfortable because uh, when I've had a full beard before, uh, the longer it gets, the itchier it gets. Uh, plus I have a, a 9 to 5 job currently and uh, I had to tell my boss, uh, listen I'm not allowed to shave for quite a while, it's not that I'm lazy, I just am not allowed to. Uh, just so they know um, that I'm going to start looking pretty scruffy uh, as the days go by. Um, oh yeah, plus my wife wasn't too thrilled about it either. Uh, she likes a well-manicured face, as do I. Uh, so I'm probably, probably not going to be an awful lot of kissing going on in the next little while. Um, but you know, as they say in the movie business, it's it's for the craft. So um, I'm interested in seeing what happens and how uncomfortable and how unbearable it is. And the one thing I am really looking forward to is shooting the film and coming home and taking it all off. Well, it's been 15 days and it's getting to the point where I'm starting to find it uncomfortable. And uh, I just found out today by email that uh, my tentative shoot day is July 25th. And it is currently the 10th of June. So I have another month and a half, I guess. Almost, yeah, another 40 to 45 days. I, I can't do the math right now, but this is gonna get worse. So anyway, this is where it is. And I'm going in uh, for an audition tomorrow for a completely different project. Uh, and you can bet the first thing I'm gonna do is say, hey guys, here's my uh, picture and resume. Just so you know, this is what I usually look like. This is for another role. I gotta make sure that they know that. Okay, I don't know what day this is, but I know uh, it is July 2nd, the day after Canada Day. And this thing is getting so bushy and out of control, I decided I'm going to trim it a little bit. 
Blues Fest starts tomorrow and my wife and I are volunteering doing driver transportation for the artists over the next two weeks so I want to look somewhat unscraggy if you will. So here goes. That's a lot of hair. That is that. Trimmer, much nicer. And uh, I guess I'll just let it grow from here. It's done. The shoot went very well. I started at 7.15 this morning and wrapped at 5 this afternoon. Uh, it was great. It was a great experience. Great cast, great crew, great director. And now I find myself at odds. Do I actually want to shave all of this off? Um, my wife actually suggested that I just trim some of it, clean it up here, and then trim it down so it's nice. And of course the hair has got to go because it's really long gross. So I think that's going to be the next step. I'm going to tidy it up. We'll see if I like it. how this film was going to turn out, then you're one up on me. 60 days ago, I was convinced I was going to shave all of this off. I guess that's what you'd call an unexpected twist ending. Or was it?